everyone, it's Lexi and in today's video I'm going to share with you all the books and movies that I ended up getting this month. So without further ado, let's get started. So kind of starting out with like a TV show, the first thing that I got this month um, was the Resilient Isles Season 6 Complete Series on DVD. And I love this show, this is probably one of my all time favorite shows and it's on in the summer so if you kind of want to start watching it, I guess you could. But it's in its last season so maybe you could probably, if you want to check it out then you probably can go to the library to get it on DVD. But I really like it. It's loosely based off the Rizzoli and Isles series that I love on Love by Tess Gerritsen and it's really good. I love it. It kind of has very strong female protagonists and like friendships and I really like that. I was like more ex like super excited for this movie and it was Zootopia. I saw this when it came out I think back in March and I really liked it. It deals like it alludes to a lot of the issues in our society like with race and kind of police community relationships and I really like that. So if you like even it, even though it's like a Disney movie I highly recommend you check it out. It's just really good and it has a lot of like kind of jokes in there that adults will get but the kids won't so I highly recommend that you check this movie out. It is really really good. Next this one movie I had my eye on for a while but the price for some reason really skyrocketed so I've been kind of watching it for it to go down and so it finally kind of went down to a decent price and it is Max and it's about a um, kind of dog that was in the military and his owner was killed so the family kind of adopts him but there was some kind of controversy around how the son who was in the military kind of died so like it kind of revolves around that I want to give too much of the plot away but that's basically what it is and I really liked it it was a good movie like I was on the edge of my seat like the last like kind of half hour it was just like oh my goodness it's really good it's kind of like a kids movie but it's still kind of a fun one for adults to watch as well so next I got two classic Tom Hanks movie and the first one that I got was Castaway and then Forrest Gump. I don't think I need to explain what these two movies are about. Tom Hanks is probably one of my favorite, probably, actors. And I just really like his, like, I think he's just my, he's my favorite actor. So anything he's in, I just love. So, like, I, I'll do, like, this own section of books. So the first, like, because this is, like, my first summer where I'm not actually in school. Like, I don't know what to do with myself. Because I've been in, like, taking summer classes because I'm a double major since I first started so this is like my first summer where I haven't had to use like my brain that much so I ended up getting these really cheap kind of biological anthropology textbooks um, I have two right now one of them is biological anthropology our origins and I just really would like to read this over I find just human evolution just be so interesting so I thought these would be good ones for some light summer reading So these next two books that are kind of in like the anthropology kind of have more heavier reading. I first have Sex at Dawn by um, Christopher Ryan. So it's basically just a novel that discusses how humans mate and how it's really different than what we see else in the biological world. Especially when you compare it to like other primates. So it just talks about that and just like, yeah, so I, like, I think this is just so interesting. I like why human relationships are different, like what, like how they've changed over history. And I just think it's so interesting. So I thought this one would be a good one to read. And then next I got this um, another book called by Yuval Noah Haria. I think that's who pronounce his name. It's called Sapiens. And it's a brief history of humankind. I just thought this was interesting just because like just how humans evolved. I think that's just so interesting. All the things that had to fall in place at the right time I think it's just so interesting. And I really like it. So this next book is one that I've heard a lot about on BookTube and I've heard really great reviews on it. And it is Truth Witch by Susan Dinard. And I've just heard great things about this. It's about like kind of witches and like female friendships. I heard that it had a really heavy, like good strong female friendship and that just automatically drew me in. And I've been reading a lot more fantasy and just kind of like witches and all that. So I thought this one would be a good thing to try out. So next I got the last three books in the Heroes of Olympus series. So that is The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. And I've heard so many great things about the series. Um, I wasn't really too interested in the Percy Jackson series just because I think it's more middle grade and I have a hard time reading that just because I'm used to reading at a higher level. So I wanted to check these out and I've heard great things about this. I have the first two books so I decided to pick up the rest of this series. So yeah. So this next book is one that I've had my eye on for a while and it is The Glassbower by Petra 
dress breading and it's basically about these group of sisters who live in Germany and their father is a glass blower and he ends up suddenly dying um, unexpectedly so the sisters kind of have to work together and kind of learn how to be successful in a man's world by building all these things I just thought the concept was really interesting I think this is a trilogy and I know pretty sure it was um yeah it's translated so I think this book was originally written in, in Germany and has a lot of really good reviews on Amazon so I decided to check this one out it just seems so interesting and I just think I haven't really read anything like this before so I'm interested to see how this one plays out so this next book is one that I've had my eye on for a while and I think it's just really interesting so basically it's the fall of marigolds by Susan Mesoner and basically it's a dual storyline so basically it first starts out in 1911 I think it is on Alice Island and it's about a nurse named Clara who um, is kind of helping the immigrants and she's with this um, feverish um, patient and he has a scarf with an embroidered name on it and then flash forward to present day in 2011 and it's about another woman who um, thinks she's living a full life but her husband um, was one of the people that died in the World Trade Center in 2001 and so she kind of finds this one picture of a scarf and she kind of finds the history behind it that's kind of been passed down through her family for generations. I just thought it was interesting. This is like a little catchphrase. It's like a beautiful scarf passed down through the generations connects two women who learn that the weight of the world is made barely by the love we give away. So I just thought that was really interesting and I've heard great things about this so I'm super excited to try this one out as well. So next I like these last three books I kind of went on a Sandra Brown like kick because I don't know, my parent, my mom always says to check out her books and I never have, so I thought I'd get some. So the first one I have is Friction. It's about a um, Texas Ranger who um, kind of had like a downward spiral and he ends up losing custody of his daughter. And how now he's kind of got his life back together and he's trying to get her back through the courts. So basically when they're in the courtroom, a masked gunman barges into the courtroom and he ends up kidnapping his daughter so he kind of has to go after her and just kind of save his daughter so I thought this one was really interesting and then this one I think this was the one that drew me in um, the most and it is Breath of Scandal and it's about a girl who lives in this small southern town and she ends up um, getting kind of raped by a couple people in her town and like the person who was kind of like the main kind of I'll say bad person I guess he is part of a very powerful family in her town so she ends up like running away but she still has plans on seeking revenge and I just think this was so interesting and I heard the reviews are really good this book is quite big but the font is like massive like it's just like huge so I don't know hopefully it'll be a quick read because the font is literally size 16 so this last book is called Mean Streak and it's about a couple and the wife ends up going for the run she ends up missing and the husband is the first to blame but he also has a few kind of injuries as well so it's kind of figuring out like what happened to this wife and um, how the FBI comes involved and I what I really like when I looked into Sandra Brown's books is that they're standalone which is really nice I feel like there's not enough standalone books that kind of are like mysteries like this so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books or seen these movies and if there's any books you want me to check out so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye guys